guys, it's Sam. So I know it's been a while, but I actually have a rather large collective haul. To kind of show you guys the stuff that I've been getting lately, and then one huge purchase that I made tonight when I went a little crazy at Sephora. So, why you don't shop after you've had an interesting day. So, so I went ahead and ordered some stuff off of KetCosmetics.com, which is really highly recommended by a fellow YouTuber on here, which is Goss Makeup Artist. I'm sure you guys have heard of him. He's amazing. If you have not subscribed to him, you have to. He is my favorite YouTuber, and I have a lot of people I really like, but he is my favorite. And he's a lot of people's favorite, because he is so genuine and so nice and so honest with everything that he says. So, I already two of the fix cream foundations. I ordered M or N1 and N3. And there's no N2 in case you're wondering. These were 15 bucks a piece for just the pans and they're not magnetized. I had to add individual magnets to the back so they would stick to my Z palette. And I'm going to be doing a review on these so I'm not going to go into detail because I actually have used these for a while so I can kind of give you my opinion on them. But they're kind of a really sheer coverage that can be able to be built up to full coverage without looking cakey. So they are very interesting, I'd say. So yeah, stay tuned for my uh, review of those. Next, I got a beauty blender. I actually ordered the two pack, and I just have like a little Sephora sample bag to keep it sterile while I travel. But um, this one has never been used. The other one I have been using on a daily basis. And I mentioned how I got this Sony Kashuk one, and I'll, when I'm a review for that, you'll understand why I stopped using this and I went and purchased this, but these were $25, I want to say, $25.99 for two of them. So it was like $20 bucks for one or $25 for two. That's how they sucker you in to like buying them all because you're like, oh, it's $25 bucks more than I want this thing, which just happened to me in another part of this haul that you'll see in a second. So I, I do like it and it's very it, it's very soft. It's a lot softer than the Sonia Kashuk one, so I'm still kind of experimenting with applying my foundations with it. But I actually do like it so far. A Clarisonic Deep Pore Cleansing Brush Head replacement, which isn't all that exciting, but I also got a YSL Rouge Volupte uh, lipstick, and this is in the shade 27. I believe this one's called something Paris. But it is like a bright, that's bright. It's like a bright corally red. And I had another one also. I had the shade 26. I actually have the boxes for both of those. So I had, this was the box for the 26th one. And it doesn't say the name, which drives me nuts. None of them ever say the name on them. My problem with, oh, it does actually say the name on the top. No, I lied, it doesn't. Oh, yes it does, underneath it says French on top. It's Tender Peach, and then the one that I just showed you is, let me find the empty box here, Rose Paris. They're super drying on me, and for, I think they're $36 or $34 a lipstick. For it to be so drying where I can't wear it more than an hour without like having to take it off, apply chapstick, and then apply it again, and then apply chapstick, it was, it just didn't work. And the colors are absolutely beautiful. The formulation is gorgeous. The pigmentation is gorgeous. It just was too drying on my lips. And I have dry lips to begin with, so I really need something like on the more moisturizing side like a gloss would be. So. I'm going to return this one. I've already returned the other one for something. I'm going to show you in a second. And while I recommend you guys try these out, try them out at Sephora, like have them sanitize them, and then try them on, and then walk around for a couple hours to see if they're going to dry your lips out, because you'll be able to tell pretty instantly if they're going to dry your lips out or not. And so yeah, this unfortunately is going to go back, but I do really love the colors of it. Oh, and what was I going to say with my Sonic or my Sony Cash with my beauty blenders, I also received two little Too Faced, like, small little tiny size samples. These are like the cutest little samples ever. This one I'm actually taking with me to Hawaii because it's perfect. It's the Too Faced Shadow Insurance in Candlelight, which is like a really pretty goldy shimmery color. And then my Too Faced, and this is the Too Faced Tinted Beauty Balm in Medium, which is so dark on me that 
I can't try it, which is unfortunate, but I don't know, what are you going to do? Okay, so now this is <laughs> the uh, last part of my haul where I went a little bit crazy. I'm going to start with the samples I got. I got two. I got the Matte Velvet, uh, Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus Foundation in the shade 20. And I had picked up a sample this earlier, but she'd only given me like a day, like a day and a half practically, sample of the 20 shades. She had given me the 35 originally, and I was like oopa loopa orange, so that didn't work. So I had to go back for the 20, but she didn't give me enough to really try it out and see if it was going to work on my skin tone long term. Like, was it going to oxidize after a while? So I went back and got another bigger sample of that. And then I picked up the uh, Urban Decay Cream to Powder Foundation. This is in the sh shade Nirvana. It just kind of looks like that. It's like all junky looking. But I'm going to take this with me to white and try it out um, if I feel like I want to or I need to. But it's an interesting concept, so I'm curious to see if it works. Because I have super oily skin, like I said before. So I will give you guys a full review on those two once I've reached a conclusion. This is the part where I kind of lost my mind. Um, so this is my huge <laughs> Sephora bag. Bigger than my head. I got the small version of the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Spreading Makeup Setting Spray. Because I was hearing how you can um, spray this before you apply makeup and then again after. And it kind of acts as a primer as well as a finishing spray. And it's really good for people with oily skin like I do. And I break out from primers that have, like traditionally have cones and stuff in them and still like silica so I'm curious to give this a try because it doesn't actually it just has like alcohol and other things in it so this little tiny bottle was 12 bucks it's like <laughs> ouch the pump is itself is bigger than the actual bottle is yeah <sighs> if I wasn't so addicted to makeup I'd be a rich woman then I got two makeup forever aqua eyes eyeliners because I had tested these out when I walked past the Sephora and JCPenney's the other day, and like literally, they don't budge. And this one I smudged out while it was still setting, and then rubbed it and hasn't smudged either. They're fantastic. The one swatch of the champagne color lasted like 72 hours on my hand, and I actually just scrub it to get it off. So I picked up two colors. I picked up the champagne, which is 23L, which 23 is my favorite number, so that's pretty cool. And it just looks like this right here. And I'll do an individual review on these later if you guys are interested. And then I got the black one as well, which is 0L. Which is there. And it's not the blackest black liner I've ever seen. I don't even think it's as dark as 0, because I've owned 0. I didn't like the Urban Decay liners on me. They smudged too much. And I actually, I'm curious to see if this lasts on my waterline. So... Even though it's not the blackest black, I can live with it if it can last on my face for a long time. I also picked up this little set right here, which had this over the top of it, and it was $35. And, oh, each of these liners, by the way, were, I want to say 18 Yes, they're $18. So I picked up this little set, and this is the St. Tropez Golden Glow set, and it was $35, bucks, the value of $58.50, and I originally just picked up the Bronzing Mousse, which is this, because since I am going to Hawaii, I keep saying Hawaii because I'm like so jazzed, I'm like, Hawaii, Hawaii, Hawaii. This by itself was $30, bucks, and I was like, well, I spend 5 bucks more and I get like two other things, and I probably don't turn my hands orange with this handy dandy little mitt. So I decided to go ahead and get the kit, and it's the last kit they had at my Sephora, so I figured, what the heck. And I'm curious to see, I read a lot of really great reviews on this, like this is supposedly the best bronzer self-tanner thing you can buy, and so I have 48 hours to get tan, so I'm kind of curious to see if it can do it. And then I also want to bring this with me, because this is the Saint Tropez Skin Illuminator, and I might end up checking a bag, because I have way too many liquids. And you just apply this, you know, to give you a nice little shimmer, shimmer. And I might do it, like, along my neckline and my chest and then my legs for when I go to the beach so I look all, like, whoop, whoop. 
wouldn't that be cool? Uh, and it comes with a little handy dandy mitt, which is like five bucks or six bucks by itself. This little mitt is six dollars. And it's like mesh on the back and then foamy on the front. Like I could make this. This is basically a glorified oven mitt. But I bought it because, I don't know, it was in the kit that I wanted the illuminator thing. So I also picked up the Peter Thomas Roth Blemish Buster Kit, which is a $51 value for $35. And I use the Acne Free Severe line right now in the orange bottles. I feel like it's not working anymore and I've read a lot of reviews that like over time your acne regimen can your skin can get used to it and so last time I used this my skin cleared up for a really long time and it did great and then it stopped being effective so I went to proactive then I went to regular acne free and then I went back on this and it worked again and now it stopped again so I'm gonna try this because this is kind of different ingredients that I've used this is a lot of beta hydroxy acids and glycolic acids and salicylic acids and I have really never tried anything like this so I'm really curious to see how this works but it was all travel size which I really liked and I actually haven't opened this all the way yet so here's the little kit and it's actually really cute so this is the acne wash the blemish buffing beads for face and body. I'm going to use these on my back and see if that will help so I can use that shampoo. The AHA BHA acne clearing gel. The matte anti-shine mattifying gel. And the acne spot and area treatment. So five little products and they're so cute. Like honestly, I'm not going to lie. There was part of me that bought them because this is the cutest little thing ever. Look at that. Oh my goodness, I need to paint my nails. But... <laughs> this is so cute so yeah thought I'd give that a try and that was $35 like I said and then the last two things I picked up and luckily I banned myself from that store afterwards were two of the YSL glossy stain now these are brand new they've only been in the store a couple days um, she said they had just got them yesterday actually and I picked up the shades 18 and then shade 10. Let me see if they say the names on the box. Uh, Rouge Felitre is number 10 and Rose Pastelle is number 18. So here is number 10 and 10 is what I have on my lips right now. It's kind of a pink red. The applicators on these are really cool and I have to say I honestly love the formula. Like they go on like a gloss and for the first couple of minutes they're like ooh really glossy and you're like oh my hair is going to get stuck and then they dry all of a sudden like completely like stain your lips. Like look at this. I have scrubbed my hand and these <laughs> four little swatches will not come off. And then I also picked up number 18 which is a little outside my comfort zone because I don't usually go for such pale colors. But this is number 18. I'll swatch this one for you. It's a little bit more sheer, especially on my pigmented lips, but it's kind of like lingerie pink of the YSL uh, Rouge Volupte ones I just showed you. And I really like the formulation of these. Like, I'm really impressed. I'm going to trade my other Rouge Volupte for another one of these because I really like the formulation. And these were 32 bucks a piece. So... That is basically all the stuff I bought that I shouldn't have. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys like this video. If you want any reviews on any of the products I mentioned or kind of like overall review on skincare or something like that, please let me know below. I would love to see your comments anyways. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.